What is up guys, this is MaxCup4 and today we're looking at a Company of Heroes 1 uh, replay. This is on Vanilla. Um, we have a good old Sheyete, I think, 13. Um, versus BK Montes, which is a very well-known player as well. I think these guys are both top 10 level players. Uh, one playing as Americans and one playing as Wehrmacht. We have a Engineer coming up here. I'm not sure if he's going to try to barb wire this off or what, he, what exactly his plan is right now. Looks like we have two Pyos start probably into a Volks Grenadier if I had to guess. Three Engineers start from um, Shaytet and then we have the, the good old rifle. I mean, uh, Barracks coming in. Engineers. Oh, he's just going for the cap. I think he's just trying to harass to stop his capping, his capping speed. First engagement. Firing at point blank range. Who's going to be the first model to drop? It looks like a Pioneer going down and the Engineer. Pioneers are getting out of there. Books are going to deer squad coming out as well. And I believe we have a Rifleman. Yep, Rifleman squad coming out as well. All right. Nice and, nice and uh, aggressive start from uh, Camp. We'll just say 13. Shayatet? She she 13? 13 started, had a really aggressive start. Three engineer start. I haven't really seen a little push like that. That's pretty cool. It's nice to be getting back to some company heroes. I'm sure you guys appreciate it. Let me know what below, like, uh, what kind of mods you like seeing the best. Do you like seeing Blitzkrieg mod? Do you like seeing Eastern Front? Because uh, I'll try to get uh, more of those out as well. Pioneers coming back out. First Rifleman squad coming out. Meanwhile, we have, uh, yeah, three engineers and one... Rival squad versus uh, two engineers and t or two uh, pioneers of Oak squad and uh, looks like an MG42 coming in as well. Fuel wise, uh, Vermont Big K Montes about to get the first fuel point. Engineers moving back a little bit. MG42 moving up to support to make this position hard to push for sure. Looks like the riflemen are pushing over to the right side of the map though. Going to be harassing these uh, Pyos. And the fuel is going to be getting capped by uh, 13. Second rifle squad coming out as well. Looks like he's going to try to get the decap on... Oh, he's going to stop him from capping the fuel, I think. Smart. MG42 moving up. Engineers and uh, rifleman squad moving up. But the MG42 is going to be stopping that engineer squad. Forcing him back pretty quick. Rap squad retreating instantly. Engineer squad might be going down. Oh, he's staying alive. So he's going to be able to cap with him. Pretty cool. Um, second engineer squad for the win. Rap squad trying to come in for the flank. Americans pushing him all the way up to his base, but it's the Wehrmacht are actually doing that as well. So BK Mod Test putting up some heavy cover there as well. As you can see on their backs, they carry lots of sandbags. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Rifleman kind of just sitting there. I think he's just getting an observation with that. BK Montez just uh, improving his position. Putting some mines down. Just getting ready, you know. Only bad thing about taking the left side of this map is the fact that there's only one victory point. Two victory points on the right side. It means that he's going to be ticking down BK Montez. And eventually he'll have to push up and take at least this point. wonder what their teching is going to be. Feel like he's gonna get a triage center first. I just got a feeling. Rifle squad's gonna be protecting the cutoff. Cutoff's not really uh, cutting anything off at this point, though. Second Volk squad coming up, and we got three riflemen now. Fourth rifleman. Wow, four riflemen and three engineers. He likes his infantry. He's getting some uh, C wire. I mean, some barbed wire down, protecting his flanks. But not in time. We got flank coming in. Some riflemen coming in from both sides. MG42 setting up for the flank, though. Pinning down both squads. Rep squad coming up with another one in support over here. He's going to push these guys back to the heavy cover, trying to distract them. MG while he pulls off this flank. Smokes Reindeers in the open are going to get destroyed by these riflemen for sure. BK Montes needs to push back. Pioneer's going to be getting set. Injured as well. We have two MG42s on the field. Did not notice that until just now. Some more, more flanking coming in. And we have a supply yard. Early supply yard coming out. He might be going for the fast Greyhound. 
Let's rifle him in. Push, as you can see, he pushed up to that heavy cover, and now they managed to get out of suppression because of the heavy cover. Smart move by him. But uh, this machine gun's going to pin these guys down, and they're starting to push back. This M42 is going to begin to displace. Rifleman squad's getting a little low for comfort. He needs to get out of town pretty quick. He's smart enough to focus fire it. Is he going to focus fire? Oh, he's popping. Looks like he went defensive. Let's check out BK Montes. Yeah. For the fatherland being popped, so we know he went defensive. He's going to be trying to get a medical bunker, most likely. Ooh, this, this engineer. Engineer going down. Not good. We have one rifle squad trying to fight, fight it all. Oh, God. MG42 is out of position. I think he's just going to keep it there and just recruit it if it does die. He's taking for... Is he in a sniper? Looks like he didn't lose anything in that engagement, so... Yeah, 13 needs to get out of there. He's still got good map control, but... Uh, he did lose an engineer there, so he might be a little bit behind. Though we have the tier 3 coming out with the motor pool. Um, probably going to see a Greyhound. And uh, let's just say BK Montes is not exactly prepared for that. You're going to bunker up. Arguably, this is going to be a medical bunker because he wants to get those free zombie squads. Engineers, just, I mean, Pioneer's just going over here. He's got minesweepers, so you can clear out any mines as well. BK Montes seems to be getting in control a little bit, but we'll see how he survives this uh, quick Greyhound. Oh, man. Sniper's trying to put some work in. Pioneer squad getting pushed off from the right side of the map. All right, I'm excited to see this Greyhound. Putting up a second line of wire. Probably not going to matter too too much in a little bit. So we're shooting that squad back. wonder when his tier two is going to be coming up. Meanwhile, the Greyhound is in production. BK Montes must know that he has no anti-tank, so it's a little sketch. There's a base mount at MGs. Hmm. Eight minutes marks in. BK Montes is still not trying to get any anti-tank. Oh, there we go. There we go. Tier 2 coming up now. He knows. He knows. He's an experienced player. Sniper. Just getting some shots in. Flamethrower's going to be pushing that bulk squad out of the cover. Yeah, they got to push back pretty quick. Sniper getting some kills. Let's see, Hammond, what are you up to? It's just two now. Greyhound's coming up. So surely going to get that uh, side armor to protect it from uh, dying in like two shots from a pack. But the tier two is not built, so he's got a little bit of a window. He's definitely going to get fausted. He's got the low armor. Oh, he got the armor up just in time. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Pack being built. Greyhound's going to be getting some kills. Doesn't have the 50 right now, so he's not super effective versus infantry, but he still manages to snipe one and two. The bulk squad coming up. He's surely going to be giving it a faust. Oh, no, I guess not. He's going to waste the munitions. Ooh, sniper right there. Be very careful. All these infantry squads getting healed up against Shroud Center, and he looks like he's getting weapon support center, so he's going to be going back checking for snipers. Ooh, laying some mines there. I'm sure the sniper saw that. He still has a mine. Yeah, he still has a sweeper, so he should be able to knock it out. 50 munitions down the drain, possibly. If he saw that, of course. We have a push coming in, but we have MG42 covering this. He needs to spread those squads out. What's machine gun doing? Oh, there it is. Just now coming into range. The flamethrower is going to be pushing the machine gun all the way back. Another machine gun back here, though. And two bulk squads coming up. Ooh, someone hit a mine. Flamethrower hitting a mine. Manic picking up his fellow comrade to be, bring him back to be a zombie. Get four of those guys. Get a full grenadier squad. Pack is coming up to the left side to protect it. He's got pretty much healed up now, though. Rifle squad's going to be getting pushed back, I believe. Yes, yeah, snipers. 
Starting to pick away. It's interesting that they didn't made this little circle. It's not in any sectors, so. I guess nobody can build any bunkers there. If they ever wanted to. Ooh. It's that, uh, mine still has not been cleared. So needs to be careful. Hmm. Ooh. No way, he actually did hit the mine. I guess he didn't see it placed. Did not see it. Greyhound doing a little bit of base recon. You can see that he's buying. Taking up with uh, infantry. I mean, with. Uh, energy, excuse me. Ooh, he might be able to kill some of these pioneers. This could be pretty devastating. But he could get double fasted. He's getting them in the bunkers, though. Very smart on his part. Fast. Any fast? Yeah, fast. I mean, he's calling artillery on tier 2, so he can't build anything. But I think he's already got most of the stuff he needs out of tier 2. Oh, he's trying to build another pack. Looks like it's going to get destroyed, though. Alright, he's getting refunded that manpower because he lost tier 2. And immediately he's just building another one. Looks like he's going to want to get two packs. That way he can't get flanked. Good, good move by uh, good old 13. 13 has been taking down BK Mob Test's uh, good old uh, victory points. So if we see victory points going down, that could be pushing BK Mob Test to be uh, rational behaviors. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm not sure where exactly he just died. Oh, yeah, there he is. Just got obliterated. 13 just took out his sniper. Excellent work by him. My Greyhound's dueling with the squad in the building. And we have a flanking squad. Not sure how he got around, but he uh, got pretty messed up. Second second um, guy getting recovered. Sniper, actually. You usually don't recover snipers because they usually get headshotted. Fun fact. But I guess uh, he shot him in the chest. Ooh, the American sniper trying to get away. He's luring him into it. Yeah, they're not going to make it. This squad could get, actually get wiped now. Holy cow. Looks like BK Montez is probably going to be getting another sniper. He needs to make a... He needs to have a counter to that sniper. He doesn't have a sniper now, and he also doesn't have a vehicle. So I'd, I'd say uh, 13 is definitely in the lead as long as he keeps that gray handle alive and well. Knock down the power line, though. Sniper just meets killing those pioneers off. Making life a lot harder. We have your medic coming in. Ooh, Peck getting off a shot on the Puma. I mean, on the Greyhound. Two shots. But that's why you, that's why you get the armor armored up. Looks like that Pioneer was that. That was his uh, his only demo squad. I mean, his uh, minesweeper. You guys, I guess he has another one, but he lost one of his pios. Sniper is just sniping away. Double machine guns, though. Setting up a defense, nice defensive position, but it looks like the Americans are managing to overrun this before we can get the machine gun set up. Sniper needs to get up and keep pushing. Ooh, he's getting the machine gun. But oh, he's got the grenadiers up. Ooh, he's going to get the grenade off. Looks like no one gets the machine gun. Lost the MG42. Grenadier squad's trying to push up and take out the sniper, it looks like. Where's the pack? Pack's still back here, so the Greyhound can do some work without getting harassed that much. But he's not focusing on the Volks Grenadiers. Rap Squad getting back. Sniper is just getting the kills and 10 kills now. Surprised he's not a veteran 2 1. Oh, he is a veteran 2 1, excuse me. Pack moving up, trying to get the Greyhound picked off. BK Montes is kind of fighting for his life right now. He's getting uh, VPs going down. He's at 368. And uh, kind of a brutal attack. He lost one of his machine guns. But I guess he did get a free Grenadier squad. And he's a Veteran C2. Not sure what he's going to be teching for next. Maybe it's a Veteran C2 infantry. Oh, we got a sniper coming up. He's gonna, he's, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want 13 to have the only sniper. Meanwhile, we have a 105 coming up. This is going to be excellent for dislodging that uh, defensive position. Really good move on 13's part. 
Ooh, the sniper trying to take out this uh, Pyo squad. Looks like he's pushing up. Oh, we have a Goliath coming out. Nice. Love to see some unique stuff. He's going to be hiding in that bush. I'm sure we'll be seeing him a little bit later. Artillery coming in. He's making sure he pushes that house. I mean, that, uh gun back and he's probably gonna barrage where wherever it goes to with the house nice move nice move Goliath meanwhile camouflaged up here now good hit obliterating that medic's body look at him gone sniper starting to snipe guys as well grenadier squad getting some casualties missing the howitzer where's the snipe I'm trying to get the counter snipe in but this uh, howitzer is definitely going to be making things a lot harder for BK Montes. Who is uh, relying on a lot of things that could go wrong. I mean, honestly, his right side is very open. I guess he has that pack over there now. Does he have three packs? No, two packs. Ooh, here we go. Greyhound going down. Nice use of the Goliath. Excellent use of the Goliath. Greyhound was a menace to him, so he's, I'm sure he's glad that it went down. Meanwhile, Minesweepers might be going down, too. Must have been a misclick. Going right into the enemy line of fire. Could be a squad wipe. Looks like he, he's going to make it out. You want know, snipers? Veteran C2. Ooh. He started to shoot, but he didn't get the shot off. 15 kills. And this guy is just trying to get the sniper. He's trying to get the counter snipe. Just waiting for him to fire. I'm not sure if he saw, revealed himself. Oh, nope. 16 kill. Oh, he uncloaks, uh, recloaks so quickly now. He's desperate to get that counter snipe. You want the house is starting to come in, so you gotta be careful. He's gotta be careful. The sniper is right here. Artillery coming in on this machine gun. Don't miss the counter snipe. Oh, he's gonna be taking the shot. Counter snipe? Not in time. Up to 17 kills now. Grenade going in on this squad. Forcing them back. Oh, he's going to get the counter snipe right here, I think. Oh. Playing hard to get. The squad needs to get back here. He's getting suppressed by a machine gun and shot by two squads. Not good. Artillery uh, coming in. More grenadier squad coming in. It's two free grenadier squads already. He's going to be trying to take this... Uh, Bunker out, though. BK Montez still happy with just Tier 2. Do we have Tier 4 coming up? Honestly, I think a second howitzer might be a decent choice, but what do I know? I'm not a pro. Needs to repair that bunker up. He's managed to get the BP under his control, so he's uh, stopped the tick. 339. But he might be having to worry about that pretty soon. Using the pack to destroy these walls is going to make it easier for his pack to support this area. Smart move on BK Montes. As you can see, these expert players doing what they do best is they're just uh, doing expert things, you know. Grenadier squad coming in. But this bar squad should be able to take them on. Except there's a machine gun behind them. Yeah, it's going to be forcing the squad back. You're winning that side. Meanwhile, we have American push on this, one, this side. Spreading his infantry out nicely. Squad moving in with the sniper on Cloat. Mock Sniper still hasn't revealed himself. Book Squad getting pretty low. Guy getting burnt alive. Worst way to go, I'd say. Medic. Sniper taking out shots. Oh, man. He called him double. He called artillery and... Oh, no. That's uh, defensive artillery. Excuse me. The Hauser managed to take that uh, bunker out before he managed to do a ton of damage. Oh, shit. That was a crazy... That mortar hit way over here. It's crazy how long range that was. It kind of BS, honestly. 20 kills now, though, on the sniper. But he did manage to kill the bunker, so that's pretty cool for him. Meanwhile, we have Tier 3 coming up. Sturm Armory for uh, BK Matez and the Puma. Nothing new on the American side. Not sure what he's saying for. Let's see how much he has. He has a lot of manpower. Not sure what he plans to use this all on. He got the first supply yard upgrade. Uh, 
Hmm. Sniper's just sniping away. He really, really wants to get this kill. That guy's just been sitting around, not getting any value. Okay, Montes needs to get some value out of him. And while the VP is going back in 13's favor. He's doing quite an effective job. Pack sitting by on the edge of the map, just in case. Yeah, there goes the VPs. BK Montez seems to be happy with holding this left side and then occasionally harassing the right side. We'll see if that works out in the long run, though. Puma coming in. Ooh, we might spot them getting the mines in. Minesweeper's coming up, so it doesn't matter. Pioneer's getting in the house. I don't think he has, uh... Yeah, I don't think he has the good old stickies. He uh, just instantly ran away. Mine going down there. Minesweeper needs to sweep the mines, you know? <laughs> he's gonna spend... Oh, he's gonna get tier 4 now. At least making good use of those uh, points. Monker coming up. He's definitely gonna be calling artillery right there. He's destroying it. And retreating the squad. Man, it was an almost full of Grenadier squad in a pile. Alright, I'm gonna run right into the Puma's face. And BK Montes getting the VP's um, count back in his, I mean, VP, uh, total VP's in his advantage again. Rival squad going up against the Veterans. He won Volk squad, but it's got bars, so once it gets close, I think it's game over. He's popping for the Fatherland, so that probably is going to help him hold on. As you can, yeah, he's managed, managed to win that. It was really well played. And this sniper's Vet 3, 23 kills. He's still trying to get it. BK Montes is determined. He's been, he's at this, been at this for a while. Oh, this Volk Squad's definitely gonna hit this mine. Sweepers not doing their job. I'm losing, losing a single model though. Good for them. Bar just shooting at this uh, Puma. Hmm. VPs both getting start, starting to get pretty similar. I mean, Geshers Wagon. You don't see these guys around too often. Most people go for the Stugs, but I guess he likes the Geshers Wagon. Not sure. What's with the Geshers Wagon? Let's see. Let's get a good screenshot of this. Oh. God. There we go. Hell yeah. It sounds like a Hellcat just came out too. Nice. Oh, we got a flank, or I mean a full on attack coming in here. MG's gonna be covering the flank though. Looks like it broke the resources when I did that. Good to know. Can't see how much resources they have now. Unfortunate. You win some, you lose some. Hats are coming in on the. Yeah, Hats are coming in on the good old machine gun. Who must get chased down by the? Ooh, the Hellcat, but the Hellcat going down. Damn. And shot by both the Geshe wagon and the pack. Perfect ambush set up for him. This sniper is doing some. Is this second sniper? It's the same sniper. Holy shit. Twenty-five kills now. 26 just be a menace he's vet three so he snipes super fast and reloads super fast so that's pretty scary for him in the base artillery let's go enjoying the puma a little bit got a flank coming in here he's gonna be hopping in that building i think uh gish wagons are actually really good at destroying buildings Well, if they can hit it. We'll see. This building's at full health, pretty much. I guess not. Never mind. <laughs> oh, engineers with uh, minesweepers coming in. Or getting out <coughs> as well. And we have... Something just came out. Another Hellcat coming out. BK Montes seems to be stabilizing the situation. He's managing to keep control of this victory point. That's which is all he really needs. He has all the resources from the left side of the map. And if he can just hold... 
and then hold his victory points, and he'll be golden. But his machine gun is placed a little far back. Popping for the follow land, though. Keep his guys alive. Ooh, Sniper finally getting in the action. He needs to help with the defense. You want the American Sniper coming in as well. The Snipers are now aware of each other. Bar's getting low. Successfully deterred the attack with for the Fatherland. The sniper is getting a little ballsy. Guess your wagon is moving up, and we have the Puma back to full health. Artillery coming in. Coming here right in the center. Bulk Squad is trying to pursue the sniper. Honestly, if he sent the Puma down there. He might be able to do some serious damage to it. Looks like I'm moving back. Guess your swagon's trying to pursue the Hellcat. Getting low, super low health. Pack must hit it a couple times. Two Pumas. It's starting to look a little grim. For 13, but he's got the... So has a slight VP advantage. We'll see how long that lasts. So he looks like he's going to be getting the cap right now. Hmm. Puma coming in as well. And this Puma's are harassed. BK Montes needs to... I think he can just get a bunker on this point because there's not really anything he can do to stop him. He caps this and gets a little bunker right here. I mean, he might force him to get an AT gun, but still, that'd be a good delaying action. Could end the game a little quicker, but... APK Mastas has got different plans. Veteran C2 infantry coming up. Has he got any tank veterans yet? Oh, the Americans are making a big push towards here. Sniper is just sniping away. 31 kills now. Doesn't have any real anti tank, though. That's his main issue. Puma's going to be able to shred through these riflemen. Just firing wherever he hits. He's not even going to miss. Ooh, defensive artillery being used. Could be very detrimental. Managed to kill a couple guys. He managed to get out in time, though. Not sure if it'll clear this building out. Doesn't look like it will. Oh, we have a Volk squad. Must have been a misclick because he just started moving in towards the base. Although, if he saw that, he could get in here and get some 280mm... Rocket barrage on this house, and he could kill that thing. Which is honestly what he should be saving for. House are coming in. Hitting the base again. Not really anything there for him to kill. Flamethrowers need to stop it. Oh my gosh, sniper. Sniper's right there. He needs to be very careful. 32. Flame engineer's almost going down. Sniper needs to be extremely careful. Oof. Me a little anxiety seeing that. Hats doing a little bit of base damage, but uh, nothing really on that push. He knows there's a pack over here, so he needs to be a little careful. I think he's aware of that and using the building as cover. Sniper once again getting some kills in. 33 kills now. The rifle blob has returned with the vengeance. Moving the sniper up. We got two Pumas, though. It could be worth the dive to get this Veteran C3 sniper. Look at him. Just ch chipping away. 36 kills. Man. He still got his sniper on the other side. We got two Hellcats now, too. He's kind of got a no man's land established. And he's going to get to be getting the victory point back in his hands. 328, 328. But the Germans have a slight advantage now. Artillery coming in? But where? Ooh, actually getting a good hit that time, killing two Pyos. I believe they were uh Yes, yeah, minesweepers too, so that's a good that's a good little kill. Waiting for them to repair. Ooh, the Hellcat hitting a mine. Damn. But he's in his own, own territory, so it doesn't really matter that much. 
Sniper is just going ham. This thing is insane. I wonder how many kills he's going to get. 37? This guy's definitely got his value. Oh, he's pushing up. He's going to try to kill this. Ballsy. One more shot. Can he get it? Ooh. He's not going to go for it. This sniper is up to five kills now. Kind of an open open area. If you could push up, you could definitely kill that howitzer. But we got the Hellcats repairing right now. Yeah, we got a lot of... Uh, we got two guest dragons, two boomers. You could apply pressure in two places at once with all of the vehicles. So that's pretty effective. And the uh, Hellcats pretty much have to be used defensively right now with all the... Ooh, this could be dead. Main gun destroyed, getting the critical and getting away. Rival squad just getting close. Sniper just trying to take out that machine gun, but managed to survive with a sliver. He's going to be retreating back to base, though. I'm sure what the pack's shooting at. Just a heavy cover, maybe. Artillery coming in, and we have a repair bunker up. Wolf squad getting almost wiped out completely. Two rifles. Some just got hit. It's dead. I mean, this uh, broken vehicle got killed. Looks like we have repairs coming up once again. And we have... A, is that third Puma? Yeah, three Pumas up. We're going to see one on his Pumas and his Geshe Swaggins. He's getting a critical mass of vehicles. Might be a good idea to get his uh, anti-tank guns, but what do I know? Really focused on killing the anti-tank guns. If you can kill the anti-tank guns, then the Pumas have a chance of, uh... I mean, the, not the Pumas, the Hellcats have a chance of taking them... Taking shit out. But as long as the AT guns stand, then there's no chance, really. Ooh, he's going for the chase down. He can get it, too. That squad is almost dead. Oh, he changed targets. Ooh, better to one squad could be going down. This could be huge. Oh, big loss for him. But losing a Puma. Could be two Pumas. Oh, shit. He's not watching the sniper. 40 kills. This could be bad. I guess your swagging going down. But the pack is recruited. Puma going down. One squad for two Pumas. And I guess your swagging, I think, is uh, even for a veteran to one squad. I think is definitely goes in uh, 13s. 13s way this way. For this one. He shows infantry doctrine, so he's going to have to spend time repairing all his tanks. Doesn't have any repair bunkers and doesn't have the automatic repairs you can buy for 150 munitions. Alright, we're down to one Puma, one Geshe Swagon again, just like the beginning. But we have a second Geshe Swagon getting bought. He really likes his Geshe Swagons. Rarely see those, so it's nice to see those in a game. While BP's been getting going down just steadily they're both about the same now 57 coming down actually wow we have four hellcats and a 57 so once you get like over two hellcats or m10s i feel like it starts getting a little bit hairy trying to use get your swagons as long as you don't have, if you don't have two packs supporting it so he needs to be a little bit careful with this that's for sure oh i think he's getting the anti-tank gun to kill the bunker maybe his bunker repair bunker was killed, and now he's building another one. So I imagine that he's gonna try to he's gonna try to make a repair bunker. Americans using smoke, nice. You don't see smoke that often being used that often. Making the shots a lot less accurate, and managing Americans managing to take the VP once again. Ooh, artillery coming in. Taking out that bunker. Did not want there to be another bunker. Anti-tank gun. Hitting the Gesher Swaggin. Gonna be pushing it back. Meanwhile, the Pumas are just waiting for their time to shine. Sniper. Where's the sniper at? Where you at? He is up to uh, seven kills. And did we? No way. 
Yeah, he's still alive. 44 kills. I mean, uh, Hellcat's mass is starting to move up. To worry about this anti-tank gun. Once the anti-tank gun goes down, it could be go downhill super fast. Super fast. First one getting a shot in. Ooh, damage engine. Third shot, rear armor. He's going to be surviving, though. Maybe about Neville Warfare coming in. Looks like he's going to be firing over this way, possibly. Yeah, this way. Nice. Okay, Mod Test is Sniper. Which is the 45 kill Sniper. He's almost to 50 kills. This is wild. Okay, so they're coming in. He doesn't care. He's pushing in. He was just scouting out for the sniper. Ooh, I can see the sniper going down right here. Possibly. Two Keshers wagons. Artillery coming, called in. Now the Keshers wagon is going to be out of position. Just like that. You can make Keshers wagons in a pickle. Recruiting the pack, though. Ooh, two Hellcats. One Geshus wagon. Hellcat needs to get out of the town. Pack shot hitting this good old friendly Hellcat. We got five BP, or five uh, points to spend. What's he gonna spend them on? He's going straight into the base. Ooh. If he wouldn't have went right, he could have squished the infantry, I think. Ooh, the pack. Turn the pack around. One more shot and he's dead. He might just be in range. Oh, getting tore up right before he made it out of there. So the cost of three Hellcats for one Geshus wagon. Oh, no board for getting taken out. But we're back down to two Pumas. I mean, two uh, Geshus wagons. Big loss for uh, 13, I'd say. Let's get these guys back. Very good use of registered artillery. And if you're not paying attention, that can easily kill the squad. Took out the Neville Warper, though, so that's kind of a win for him. VPs-wise, uh, BK Mod has started to get down low. Almost down 250. Almost about half his VPs at this point. But uh, one Hellcat now. Let's move over and see how the Americans are doing. 13's got uh, another Hellcat coming out. Oh, I didn't even realize. Uh, I missed it, but he must have called in uh, registered artillery on this point. I mean, on this 105, and he just got a second one. Happened off-screen. These snipers are just dueling. 9 and 49, though. American snipers definitely overperforming. 49 kills. Damn. 49. Let's see. How much manpower is that worth? Let's do some Let's do some basic math. 49. Say 28 is the average cost. We'll say 25. 1,200 manpower. That's insane. He's paid for himself and several other snipers. Hellcat's coming in, coming into the right side. This mortar's been uh, getting a few kills. I think he's simply here just to defend this VP. He has two rifle squads, however. The German's trying to regroup. BK Montes wants to build up a little bit more vehicles, I think, before he starts going back on the offensive to take the VP. He's actually up to two Pumas, though. Two Pumas, two Geshers wagons. Where the others? Or he's never rebuilt a second one this time. He's done with the Geshers wagons. Using smoke. Very good use of smoke, trying to just cover his guys. This guy's just getting ripped off. Fifty. Got the pack right here, though. I think he's uh, thirteen's plan is just to bleed them out at this point. Just using a shit ton of firepower. Sniper getting pretty close. We have artillery coming in. But where? Ooh, right in the HQ again. Ooh, this morning might be getting taken out by this Volk squad. Bar rifleman's coming to help. Along with the sniper that's firing super quick at this point. This squad might be going down. This 
It's one guy. Ooh. Guess should I get in position though? And Book Squad managing to make it out. Lucky escape for him. Lucky escape. Guess Schwagen's forcing them back. Squad's getting super low. Needs to be very careful. Hmm. Sniper's gonna be waiting for any infantry to come forward. Sniper and the mortar is a good combo to keep those guys off of there. With two Geshers wagons. I think he's gonna start trying to push the right side. The left side hasn't really seen any action. Got He's gonna leave one AT gun to one Puma with some pioneers. Got a lot of pioneers at this point. Oh shit. Mortar doing some serious work. That's why he has it there. Bringing a machine gun. Using a lot of support weapons. Meanwhile, we have a uh, sniper moving up. He's definitely going to be looking for that uh, 105. He's going to be call trying to call in some artillery, I assume. The sniper needs to watch out. He's getting a little close to danger. Yeah, he's definitely trying to get this registered artillery on. Meanwhile, sniper just sniping. 52 kills. It's wild how much kills this guy. PK Montes trying to get to that 105 so he can call in the rocket barrage. Artillery managing to do some serious damage. Taking, finally taking out the Sturm Armory. Meanwhile, push up here on the left side. I don't think he's paying attention though. He's going to lose some guys if he's not paying attention. There's Sturm Artillery being called in on the 105. With these squads being forced back. And there you go. 105 kaput. Benefit can get in the Jeep right now, but I, I wish I knew how much manpower he had. Ugh. Never taking screenshots again like that. I think BK Montes could also benefit from getting a repair bunker. I should decap the VP for a little bit, though. It looks like he's getting a machine gun. Yeah, he's going to be protecting his, uh, his one good VP with a machine gun. Down to 177 now. So, uh, BK Montes is running out of options just a little bit. We have three Hellcats, three Hellcat critical mass, and two Geshers wagons with a Puma. I he's going to use anti-tank rounds. Ooh. Geshers wagons need to get back. AT guns holding the line, though. Infantry to attack. Machine gun doesn't look like it has. Oh, there we go. You don't often see American Machine Guns, so it's nice to see these in games as well. 13. Getting the diversity for sure. Using the Hellcats, using the M MGs. He's doing a little bit of everything that most people don't do. Ooh, that Mortar Arms wiping that Bulk Squad, though. Ooh, it did wipe the Bulk Squad. A little loss for. I don't think it's a huge loss, though. Depending on his manpower. I can't really see it, though. Puma forcing him back another rifle squad, I believe. And where the sniper's at? He made it back out of the special operation. Meanwhile, where is the location of the American sniper over here? 55 kills. That's an insane amount of kills. You guys don't often see snipers get over 20 kills. Anti-tank gun coming up on this left side. He's going to be destroying this bunker, I assume. BK Montes needs to change things up a little bit. He's doing the same things over again. He's getting pushed back and pushed back. So he's going to have to change his strategy up just a bit, I think. Or get super lucky. One pack here, protecting the Puma. Ooh, AT gun and the... Uh, okay, hitting the Puma. Puma going down. Okay, I need to get out of town, though. Nice, nice kill. Guess she's trying to get the kill. Doesn't manage to get it. 57 needs to move. Well, I was going to say move up, but I guess the Grenadier squads could be pushing it back. One of the reasons to use a Geshe Swagon is they have this, uh, they have extremely long range, which is really nice on this open maps like this. So you can just shoot forever. Versus Stugs have a, a lot shorter range. Oh, German mortar coming in. Alright, BK Matis is going to counter that mortar with his own mortar. Smart, because that mortar is already weak. Oh, I can get some kills. 
snipers have just been literally operating on the edge of each other's fires, which is pretty crazy this entire game. Hmm. A jeep coming in. Ooh, we're trying to scare off that uh, hostile sniper. Ooh, could this be the counter snipe? No, better to two in this rival squad, though. We're getting that wipe on the engineer squad, or pioneer squad. Not good for the Germans. 58 kills now. So they're calling, being called in on this uh, bunker. Well, they got decap on this side, but uh, he had to retreat with his bulk squad. Mortar squad got injured a little bit. He was capping with his own mortar squad. Desperate times. Which squad needs to move up right now. Get a manage and get suppressed. Unfortunate. He would have pushed up. He would have been able to kill the pack and the sniper that he didn't know was there. Sniper putting in work. How much money is this bunker going to take? One more shot is all it can take, but the repairs might take it man make it manage to take a second shot. Maybe two shots it can take. Sniper's just firing away at the ranges. Up to 13 kills and 61. Anti tank and getting taken out. Moving forward just a little bit. He's got pack over here. Meanwhile, getting the VP on the right side. It's swagging and a poop or a pack. Not sure what that smoke was. So it looks like uh, artillery car. car. We have uh, one Hellcat going down. Ooh, sniper needs to be careful. Germans managed to hold on again. Okay, Montes managing to stay in control. Sniper's pushing up. Oh, what is he doing with the sniper? Let's be careful. There's a three. He's ballsy. This guy's going to be going down. See if we can get him on the retreat. Ooh. Shot him in the back. Bastard. Jeep coming out. He's going to keep a Jeep escort with the sniper, which is really smart at this point because uh, don't want to lose your sniper that has 65 kills. Preparing back up that bunker. Two Gesher wagons and one Puma on the field. He's pushed all the way up to his point on this side, though. 128. Um, yeah, 128 uh, BPs left, so he needs to be careful. He's getting ticked down. He's not going to have much options here in a little bit. Both squad coming out. I mean, uh, Grenadier squad coming out. Using two Vet 2 Grenadiers. And he's got an MP44 Volk squad. MP40 Volk squad. Yes, your wagon got hit by a little bit of artillery. As you can see, the 105 has been rebuilt again. At a very uh, strategic angle. So you can get the best shots. <laughs> got this guy in recon mode. Just to hide him, I think. German trying to decap once again. Looks like they're going to be able to get the decap this time. Bars versus two vet two squads is gonna suffer. Puma's gonna be coming down here to try to support. Excuse me, Hellcat. Hmm. BK Montes managed to get his breathing room once again. Man. Forgot how long these matches could be. My goodness. BK Montes seems, seems to be holding on, but I don't know. I still don't know who could win at this point. It's like anybody's game. I would say 13 has advantage, but uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say 13 has advantage because he's defensive. Only thing he's going to get now is 88. So that's not really going to do that much difference for him, I don't think. Sniper's still operating on the right side. He's going to try to recap that VP. Panzer Shrek coming up. Ooh, Sniper doing all the work. He can continue to use those uh, unvetted squads if he has the sniper support them. Ooh, artillery coming in on the mortar. 
I don't think he sees it. Oh, mortar going down. All three of them going bye-bye. Meanwhile, we have a push coming over here. What's this mortar doing? Sniper about to take him out. Damage engine. This guy might be going down if he can't decrew him in time. You know, right side. My squad might be going down. Manages to make it out. No way. He just lost his sniper. He was up to like 15 kills. That sniper has free reign. I think he knows it. 70 kills. This is insane. This is getting out of hand. Oh, he might push him into his death. A one on one. That's insane. 71 kills. And mounting. Children coming in on the repair bunker. I mean, the regular bunker. Machine gun bunker. That's what I said. <laughs> Just really trying to kill this uh, AT gun, but I guess Shwagen's not the most accurate all the time. I'm just doing a little bit of splash damage. Nothing here. He needs to get that VP back under his control. Another sniper coming out. He's not going to mess around. He wants that sniper right up again. The sniper just doing some serious work. Man. 72 kills. How crazy. All right, I think 13 is just trying to get the um, cap weight. Or cap uh, population cap. Because uh, Company Heroes 1, if you guys don't remember, pop cap is determined by the amount of sectors that you have. Which is crazy. And awesome. Ooh, the Jeep coming in. We get obliterated by a Shrek gun. Guy going flying. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Gonna decap on this victory point. Looks like he's sending some guys to. Let's look at the mortar, so he's gonna be trying to take him his squad out. They are pretty bunched up, so it could be bad. Temporarily getting the VP hold. Machine gun bunker still managing to stay alive. Guess your wagon's moving up with the Puma support. We have one, two Hellcats right now. Three Hellcats, excuse me. Honestly, I think he should be making a big push over here. I think 13 needs to make his push over here. Get his sniper, some infantry. Push in, find out where this pack is, kill the pack, and make a big push with the Puma and start um, base destroying. Because that's going to force the Gishus Wagons back. And allow him to actually push up and take out this bunker. Because right now he's got a really good position. Two Gishus Wagons. In my opinion, he does. It's very hard to get across this. Look, he did lose his pack. I'm not sure what happened to the left side pack. Must have got murdered by artillery. I was not looking at it. Scavenging those free munitions. Meanwhile, it's the Germans that get back into control of the VPs. Down 101, but they're managing to claw on. 74 kills. Alright, this sniper is going to be trying to get up. He's got one kill. He knows he has a sniper back on the field. Man, the range of that sniper is insane, too. He can shoot, like, almost across the entire map. MG's gonna be going down. Guess you're swagging actually getting the kill. Pyro being forced back, and he's gonna be taking the VP back over. He's gonna be pushing BK Montes to below 100, so he needs to... He really, really needs to hold that, that uh, right side and the left side. Puma's starting to shred him. Still in the MG42 arc. Ooh, this Volk squad's getting super low. Ooh, I thought that was a counter snipe for a second. I was like, no way. Oh, the sniper dies like this. 76 kills, almost up to 100. We got two squads pushing up. Down to 100 points, or below 100 points now, 99. This squad's gonna be needing to get back though. I'm not sure if he sees this. Oh, grenade, yeah, he did see it. <laughs> Just taking out some Volk's grenadiers while he's at it. Oh, there's another rifle squad. Could be going down. This one's pretty likely to go down. Or I stand correct. Uh, if he would have pursued with the Puma, he would have got it down. Oh, this guy, this squad's going to... Almost in trouble. Panzer Shrek coming up with the AT gun support, though. 
Hellcash Horde is not going to be as effective. Ugh. Oh, he's pushing up, though. Got the perfect ambush ready. Artillery being caught in on the pack. All the Hellcats are pretty damaged. Ooh, looks like he's going to be running them over, maybe. Hellcat going down. Puma, I mean, a pack going down. Not sure what his plan is, though. Should have drive by the Shreks with this damage one. No. Don't do it. Why would you drive this way? Oh. That Hellcat didn't need to die. I don't know why he went that way. Meanwhile, we have a flank coming in. Sniper. Oh. Trying to go on a secret mission to take out the 105, getting found out. 79 kills, even a sniper kill. That's insane. BK Montez down to 93, but managed to kill out two of the Hellcats. For the loss of one pack. It didn't even get lost, it just got decrewed. He has managed to disperse his forces a little bit, so. In a small, slight win. Right into the base once again. Just think, just fire into fire, hoping he hits something. If a sniper comes out or something. Alright, Americans, is, honestly, they just push up here with the AT gun, the machine gun, and his sniper. He'll be set. There's nothing, he doesn't have anything that can really push up, push him off of this. Is there any indirect right now? And uh, he doesn't have, uh, yeah, he just doesn't have the capability to push up. But instead, he's going to build a bunker, get a machine gun. And he's going to be able to take this. <sighs> I think the Americans could have this game in the ba bag. They just need to play a little defensively there and hold these two points. Because he's down to 93 points at this, at this point in the game. And uh, he's going to be able to shred him. If he has that sniper over here. Which sniper's operating over here. Just taking out guys left and right. Ooh. Squad's being forced back. Or the fatherland being used. These rifle squads not having vengeance is really hurting them at this point in the game. I'm definitely gonna be seeing a grenade come out in the mortar. Right? Maybe. Instead, we see have a grenade and a mortar hitting there. Mortar being pushed back. Howitzer coming in though. Rifle squad's managing to win a range, though. A lot of German forces coming into the left side. Get those free munitions, I think. Artillery coming in on that uh, bunker, however. Pioneers helping force off that vehicle. I'm going to be getting forced back himself. No pack on the left side. Honestly, if he would have used his Hellcat spam on the left side, he'd be in good money. Sniper going to town. 83 kills. Gee, mini Christmas. Could the Goliath be the thing that kills him? Yeah, these Hellcats, if he would have had four of them at this point, he could definitely push to the left side. Because he doesn't have shit to stop Hellcat spam. All the no packs on the right side. What are we doing? What are we doing? I'm calling artillery. I don't like this sniper being up here. It's me worried. I think he's oh he's waiting for the pack. That's what he's waiting for. It's like show yourself, pack. Puma just shredding those riflemen. Man, he's just waiting for that pack to show himself. Looks like he's going to be moving up, though. He might be doing it. Yeah, he's going for it. And Sniper's going for it as well. Two shots. And Sniper decrewed. This is not good. Volk Squad down. What the hell? I think he might have said Volk Squad. This might have been the wrong audio. Using their own capture American Machine Gun against them. American Machine Gun probably has a lot higher damage than the MG42. But a lot slower fire rate. And it's the Germans that are actually pushing up into the base. So this could be bad. 
86 kills for the sniper. Make sure we capture the VPs. Temporarily, at least. Goliath's still on standby. Oak squad gonna be going down. Or, I mean, getting uh, pushed back. Meanwhile, holding the line. Grenadier squad coming in here. I'm not sure what he's doing. He must be seeing the other side of the map. There's a Grenadier squad. Not good. Good at all. Meanwhile, M18 Hellcat. Almost going down himself. Three Hellcats total on the map. A lot of injured riflemen. He needs to get them healed up. Push onward. Down to 83 VPs for uh, BK Montes. I'm sure he feels the pressure right now. 81 to 183. So they're both really, really low. But BK Montes is definitely lower. Using sector artillery to defend his uh, cutoff. We'll keep that pop cap up there high. Puma's moving up. See if there's cover. Anything to cover. Getting the VPs once again. Man, this is a marathon of a game. My goodness. These guys are... These guys are just keep going. Ooh, artillery plus the sniper shot. Could we get hit by both the... Pet, or just the... Just the Geshe's wagon, actually. 91 kills. Are we going to make it to 100? I hope we, this sniper makes it to 100. Ooh, risky business. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, no. He's going to get so excited. Not like this. Don't go down like this. The Puma's right there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, God. Uh, he's a better player than I am because I, I would be losing my shit if that was even close. So why these guys are top tier. They know exactly what to do. And most of the time, it seems like. Greyhounds? Interesting. Not sure what his plan is with Greyhounds. Or is that the off-map combat group? Oh, shh! No way. I didn't even see that coming. He took out a Hellcat and the Mortar, and the Sniper managed to make it back. Barely alive, though. This Mortar's going to be going down. Both Mortar's dead now. I should have just kept it there, so... Didn't die. Just sending guys in forwards into the firing line. Two machine guns covering this point. Okay, Montez has got things back under control. Got a machine gun on both points. VPs. Whom is moving up? Looks like BK Montez is taking control. Could be wrong, but it's looking, things are looking up for him. Oh, we got a big push coming in over on this side. Gotta guess your swagging. AT gun. Guess your swagging. One going down, or two going down. Ooh. AT gun going down. Main gun destroyed on the guess your swagging. You might be pushing on the left side as well. There's a bunch of infantry, it looks like. Needs to be focusing on focusing fire on these guys. These uh, pioneers are just getting another free munitions every while over here. This left side, they just push, keep pushing up. I don't know. I don't understand. He knows there's a machine gun there. They keep pushing up right there. Maybe he's just microing his heart out on this left side. And the man should go down. I mean, uh, Greyhound. Other Greyhound went down as well. And the recruiting of the AT gun. Unsuccessful push. Well, the sniper is sniping away. 93 kills. Oh, and the Hellcat going down. What the hell? Things are starting to get sloppy by 13. Very uncoordinated push going on here. Not sure what that was supposed to achieve. They just ran three squads straight into mission, two machine guns for that attack. Not really the most planned out. But he is doing excellent sniper play. 95 kills. I just hope... That we get to 100 kills before this game is over. That's that's my goal. 
If that happens, I'll be happy. He's 96 right now, so it could it could very well happen. And it should. America needs some sort of game plan, though, because this is not this is not working for him right now. Starting to do the same thing repeatedly. It's worked out for uh, BK Montez, surprisingly. Artillery coming in. Looks like it's just a call on artillery. Or no, it's the last one up. Uh, mid brush artillery. Sniper is coming up again. Just helping out. 97. Ooh. Registered artillery on that neutral point, I think. Nice. Other Hellcat coming out. How many Hellcats have died in this game? Second Hellcat coming out. It just seems like there's been so much death and destruction from Hellcats. Just dying. All he really needs is AT guns. I think he needs to stop using the Hellcats on the right side. Just use AT guns on the right side. Use his Hellcats on the left side. His Hellcats be doing a lot better over here where it's a lot nice and open versus right here where they just keep pushing into the same kill zone with the same pack that keeps just killing them over and over again. Are we up to 100? That was 98, right? Damn. Yeah, he just really needs an AT gun over there. He can just kill the bunker and ward off the Pumas as well. The sniper can just kill off the infantry. 99. More artillery coming in. 100 kill about to happen. Huh? Where you at? Yeah, he's gonna snipe through here. 100 kill. Look at that guy. Look at. Sniped. And they're just trying to spread out their forces so he can cap this. He's getting low himself, 115. Not paying attention to the squad, just running by. Forcing them back, close range though. The squad's completely pinned. He needs to focus on the other squad. Managed to get the cap. Every victory point matters at this point, so he needs to be really careful. Sniper sneaking in. He's going to be able to call in the rocket artillery, 280 millimeters. Take out this house here, I believe. Oh, Rapid Squad getting shredded. What is he doing? Mm. Machine gun, AT gun, sniper. That's all he needs on this side. That's all he needs. And he should be using his good old... Yeah, he should be using his uh, Puma's not left side. They could achieve so much over there. Like, getting one good flank, like, right now? They're dead. Like, he... There's nothing he could do to stop him right now. Maybe getting a Goliath. Oh, Pyro Squad going down. 61 kills, though. He might he might still have this in the bank. Oh, my God. Sniper had over 100 kills getting killed by a Panzer Shrek. Look at that. That's insane. What a way to go. He killed over 100 men, and he just gets zoinked by a Panzer Shrek. He's got to be super pissed. That's crazy. Crazy way to go. This could be a game changer. That sniper has been single-handedly destroying BK Montez's army. So with this death, things could be quite bad. Let's go ahead and move over. See if he's going to get another one. Bunker finally going down. BP has been neutralized. He's down to this last 50. 52 and 113. So they're both really, really low. Two packs being used over here now. Hmm. Bar's going against MP40s. The unit pop for the Fatherland. Using grenade, but it gets caught in the point. Rackman being forced back. He's going to get the VP. What a brutal game. I mean, a uh, Greyhound being used. Off cap, off map. He finally got some AT guns. Those two AT guns should be on the right side. Just use them on this side, and move all your vehicles to the left side. Like if he would have sent that this battle group to the left side, he would have obliterated the entire left side. That's crazy. 105 going down. Oh, he's about to lose his squad if he doesn't get out of this building either. Damn. 
I don't know how he doesn't get it. If he's just using his vehicles on the left side, it makes it so much harder for BK Montes. Maybe you're trying to capture stuff with sniper support. Not looking good at all for the Americans. The wrong strategy. His AT guns might help out, but losing that sniper is pretty huge. How many snipes are you up to? Three. Never gonna be a legend like the one that killed 100. Over 100. I think he was like 102. I think this was his 102nd kill. We shot this guy out of the snipe. Sniped the guy out of the building. And just got obliterated by a Shrek. What are the odds? What are the odds? 97.52. They're both below 100. So this is getting. The tension is real. Smoke being used by the Americans. Well, they might use registered artillery. We'll see if he uses it. And he's really trying to get those missions right in front of him. He must, did he use registered artillery? Or no, he's thinking he's just trying to defend. He's getting back on that point. Okay, Montes is harassing the left side point. He could be cutting off his munitions and his pop cap. And once again, a Neville Warfare coming in. Now that there's one, no 105. He's going to have the advantage in direct. It's looking more and more dire. For 13. No sniper. How's are coming back up, though? He's getting sloppier and sloppier as well. And these Hellcats are just on borderline useless on this left side. When you look, look on this left side, or on the right side, they're useless on the right side. They could be awesome on this left side. I mean, there's just so much. They could run over snipers. They could destroy bunkers. They could kill these guys. I mean, yeah, he'd probably move an AT gun over here, but I mean, come on. They haven't done any shit, and he's had the advantage. He's just sending people into the carnage, just trying to capture this point. To have a little bit more strategy. Oh, engineers finding the sniper. Will they be able to hunt him down and kill him though? Oh, is he running to the machine gun? He gets the counter snipe miss though. I mean the. Ooh, might have got the second hit, or they got killed by the Volks. Nothing that these guys can do though. One squad might be going down soon. Grenade going in. Killing a lot of health, but no no models. Runs two in the rifle squad, but uh, that Borfer is bringing in the fire and destruction. This is not looking good. We're going to go ahead and fast forward because this game looks like it's over. He's got last hoorah. Make sure there's nothing more. Oh. Maybe I stand corrected. Two Nev Warfers coming in. Ooh, Hellcat going down left side. Pinned down by the uh, Nev Warfers. Be a bad time for those riflemen. Bad day to beat them. I can't imagine getting pummeled by a Nev Warfer. Sounds like a bad day. Any day of the week. Ooh, machine gun getting set up with the sniper. All right, we're gonna fast forward. I don't think I think this is over. Hmm. Ooh, Puma. So he's trying to get a push. Destroyed engine. Out of control. AT guns. See, look how much better the AT guns are doing on this side than the Hellcats. He's going to get the cap. There's a guy going to die beforehand. Getting the cap down 39-52. I could have been wrong. This could be a comeback. Doesn't seem that likely, but it could be a comeback. Meanwhile, we have Gesher Swaggins destroying the American base. Holy shit. He's definitely going to try to get out the T3 first. That way he has nothing else to defend his base with. 
Oh god. Getting behind ET guns. Book squad going down though. And he's pushing up with his infantry. And she's gonna be pushing back up to the AT guns. This could be GG if he manages to obliterate those AT guns. Both Pumas coming in too. Not even firing at the Puma. What's he doing? What are these guys doing? They're just standing up. Like a bunch of nerds. Looks like he's better dead left. Oh, he's going down. Both of them dead. This is GG. Oh my god. Yeah, it's GG. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. There's no way he comes back from this. All right, you guys let me know what you think he should have done in the comments. I think he definitely should have used the Pumas on the left. I mean, used the Hellcats on the left and used AT guns on the right. But um, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.